Huh? No, it, it's, it has to be contextual. It has to be in the context of the, of the instruction. My God, man, that was good. I had, you, I had you guys set up so perfectly, and I just forgot. All right, um, so in this example, we have f of x divided by g of x. So that's going to look something like this. x of x divided by g of x divided by the square root of 2 minus x. Ah, this does not look fun at all, right? Um, but again, fortunately in algebra 2, though, we did practice dividing complex fractions or um, dividing rational expressions. So what we can do, and again, use my examples to help you out, what I always like to do is you basically have a numerator, guys, and you have a denominator, right? You have a fraction in the numerator. We don't have a fraction in the denominator. So guess what? Make a fraction in the denominator. Now you have a fraction divided by a fraction. To get a fraction off of the denominator, you multiply by the reciprocal. Any term, any number multiplied by a reciprocal goes to 1, or equals 1. Now we just multiply straight across, OK? Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. It looks a lot more complicated than it really is. Because there's nothing really we can do here. Right? You can't multiply this polynomial times a radical. You just have to leave it like that. So there's nothing else we can really do. That's it. We're done. However, they did ask us to find the domain. Or I'm asking to find the domain. Now again, are we concerned about the x squared plus 5? No, that's all real numbers. But this domain is negative infinity to 2. But it says um, you can have 2 in there. And why can you have 2 inside this domain? Because what's 2 minus 2? 0. And what's the square root of 0? 0. But what happens now? Square root of 0, 0. But what happens now? What happens if we have 0 under the radical here? 0 times that is 0. Now we're dividing by 0. So 2 doesn't work anymore. So now my domain is negative infinity to 2, but it's not included. All right. 